Okay, everybody, welcome back to the DGS 2605 channel. We're back with our MLB Power Pros 2008 season mode with your Toronto Blue Jays. So, last time we finished off the Boston Red Sox 10 4, Jimmy Guthrie had a strong outing. Heading to this three game series, we're on a home stand now against the Yankees. Let's go ahead and take first where they're on the standings. So, compared to us, they're 58 and 67, of course. Look at us, we're still undefeated. They have literally no hope of even making. I mean, some hope, I guess, of making it back to 500, but, man, that's very wishful thinking. Let's take a look at their season stats now. So they're pitching right here. So, well, we know they got rid of Schilling. I believe that was quite a while ago. We've played them, I think, before that. No, it's still God stealing. We need game started. All right, so it looks like the five-man rotation is Chan Ho Park. So let's go back here. Chan Ho Park. Above 8 ERA. Mulder, mid 6. Bach, a mid 6. Gorzolani, 9. Nance, 4, low 4. Muller, say a high, uh, I guess a mid 6, yeah. Nipper, Bowie, yeah. Some pitching staff they have. Yep, they're all their former Blue Jay BJ Ryan on this team. Batting stats, now here where we got. So it looks like you got Juan Pierre, Jim Edens, Luis Castillo, Aaron Brune, Brandon Roberts, Brian Roberts, Rocco Bedelli, Yachty, Tadahito Iguchi, Johnny Peralta, the Aurelia Killer, the All-Star Voting, Mark Reynolds, Tony Gwynn Jr., Greg Zahn, another former Blue Jay, Ruggiano, Troy Tulowitzki, another, in real life, a former Blue Jay, Scott Moore, Cardonia, Scott, alrighty, so that looks like so they got some quality players. I mean, Juan Pierre, Jim Edmonds, you should be playing really well, but clearly their pitching staff has let them down, and probably every other guy on the team, but so going into the game, Roger Center here, they want Dinks on the mound, I say we're getting Scott Olsen to open this one. Left-hander, 2.96 ERA. We're gonna have Doc on the mound for the game after that, very nice. So let's take a quick look here, we're going against Bach his mid-six ERA. Lineup goes Pierre, Castillo, Roberts, Edmonds, Tulo, Moore, Molina, Boone, Bedelli. Not that scary of a lineup. One Pierre's got speed. Castillo's got speed. So they got some speedsters, not great hitters. And there's Jim Edmonds, Tulo. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I think there definitely seems to be between Yachty, Castillo, Pierre, Edmonds, a lot more on the defensive side of baseball, but clearly they're pitching either their defensive side sucks, or their pitching is letting them down. We throw out the first pitch, we'll do the OK Blue Jays then. Looks like the Red Sox ended their losing streak by beating the Orioles 10-5, because we just absolutely decimated them the three games we played against them. Heading to Rogers Center here. It's been a while since we've played the Yankees here, I believe. And yep, it looks like we got the dome open. Here's one Pierre. Throw out the first pitch of Scott Olsen. OK! Blue Jays! Let's play ball! Alright, here is Scott Olson. First pitch of the game. Fastball, first strike. That one's really pulled by Pierre. That's just going foul down the first baseline. Here is the 0-2. Got him swinging on three pitches. That's the kind of start we like to see. There's Castillo, believe the switch hitter. Strike one, caught the far side of the plate. Nothing of one. That one's pulled. Mike Lowell. Over to first. Two away. There's Roberts. Former Oriole. Strike one. So, in terms of former players, we have... I should say the Yankees have... Anyways, that's three up and three down for Scott Olsen in the top of the first. It's a former Marlins. These are what I remember them mostly as. A Marlin, a, a Met, and an Oriole. Here's our Jirelia facing Bach. 381, 1080. Strike one, got an RBI his last game out. He is 20 away from the century mark. Strike two, change up. And that's a mistake across the plate, but hit to Moore, one away. Here's Durham, 441-3107. It's that first pitch he sees to Boone, over to first, two away. All right, let's see what else he's got here. Here's Berkman, 507, 106, 244. Strike one on the changeup. 
Strike two on the two-seamer. And he is really attacking the strike zone so far. Berkman goes down swinging. Three up and three down for both teams in the first inning. Head into the second now. The 4-5-6 part of the Yankees lineup. Jim Edmonds, Troy Tulowitzki, Scott Moore. 308, 24, what, 84 for Jim Edmonds? That is one heck of a stat line. Strike one on the slider. Miss the inside, two and one. Got a swing on that, two and two. Three and two now. That's it up the middle. Durham with a dive over to first. The Yankees will get the first hit of the game. Got past Olsen, but Durham with a valiant effort there. He takes off. That one gets away from both the pitcher and the catcher. That'll be the easiest base. Oh, and Leduca's still going to throw it because I mashed the button. So he's safe there. Here's to Lewitsky. Take it off. Swing at that one. How did two pitches get away from us in a, in a row, Paul? How does that happen? Here's the 1-1 now. That's it the other way. It's going foul. We got him in strikeout count. Got him looking. That's one away now. The runner on third. Scott Moore. One Scott to another. Strike one on the fastball. Strike two on the changeup. That's that one and two. That's it to short. Tell you what, I don't usually do this. Go home. He's safe. All right, mistake. One nothing Yankees, and they don't have the second out. I thought about risking. Here's the fielder's choice. Wilson keeping his ERA barely under three. Strike one on the fastball. That one's hit to Yachty there. Added second to first. Got the double play there. That'll end the inning. But the Yankees strike first. They're one for one so far in the game. Bottom of the second coming up. It's the 4-5-6 part of Toronto's lineup. There's Rios. 4-19-57-1-7-4. Strike one, high changeup. Inside curve, 0 2. Slider inside, 1 2. Hits that the other way. Castillo, 1 away. There's Braun, 499, 142, 288. Swings out the first pitch he sees, and that's going Badelli's way. That's a one out single. Runner on first, one away. There's Lowell. Hits that first pitch he sees. That giving up a good ride. Can't run on Jim Edmonds, I'm afraid. Two away in the inning. Still a runner on first. Here's Luke Scott, 4 11, 41, 118. <coughs> Ball one, high inside on the two seamer. Low on the two seamer, 2 0. 2 and 1. And he gives that a good ride, a deep center left. It'll stay in the park. Jim Edmonds throwing on that. We can't run, I'm afraid. But hey, a two out double for Luke Scott. Two runners in scoring position for Paulo Duca. Strike one on a 50 50 call. Went the pitcher's way. Nothing and one. Swinging at that two seamer. 0 and 2. He gets a hold of that. Will that be over the second baseman? Castillo catches it. That ends the inning. So the Yankees are 1 for 1 while the Jays are 0 for 2. Top of the third inning, it's the 8-9-1 part of the Yankees lineup. Here's Aaron Boone. Strike one. Generous call there. That should have been a ball, if I'm being honest. That one's pulled. Pulled foul. Here is the 0-2 now from Olsen. Got him swinging on three pitches. Gave up the run last inning, but hey, just get right back into the groove. Spadelli there. Aurelio with the dive. I thought I'd be controlling Olsen there. Over to first. That'll be an infield hit, but keep him to him a first. There's one Pierre, their fast runner, but with Spadelli in front of him. Can't really utilize the speed. Nothing in one. Nothing in two. The dirt. Hit by Pierre. He's got legs. He's got legs. Lowell over to first. Will it get him? No, Pierre, I think, is going to be there. It's going to be close. He is barely safe. That's where the legs pay off. There's Castillo now. Wilson goes the other way. Just keep an eye on the leadoff running. Here's Castillo now. Ball one went too low. Strike one. One and one. 
Strike two. One and two. Collins foul back. One and two now. It's over there. Granderson, if he's quick enough, the bases are loaded with one out. This is not the situation I wanted to be in. Here's Roberts. Strike one. Beautiful pitch. Got the call our way. Strike two. Got him swinging on three pitches. Force out at any base. Here's Jim Edmonds. High ball. Try to tempt him there. 1-0. Oh, Ooh, that was a generous call. 1-1. One one. Slider. That was hit hard off the very end of the bat. It's thankfully going foul. 50-50 called the knocker away. It's going to be a payoff pitch. Everybody runs the course. Got him swinging with the bases loaded. That is the inning. Perfect. Already, that was one heck of a jam we got ourselves out of. Yankees are 1 for 4. We're 0 for 2, heading to the bottom of the third. It's the 9 1 2 part of our lineup now. Here's Grandy. Takes ball 1 on the curve. 1 0. Two and zero. Oh. Two seamer on the inside of the plate. Two and one. Two and two. Granderson hits that two-two pitch. That's going to center right. Tell you what. Oh no 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 no. He is way way too good of an arm. I thought. Let's see. Jim Edmonds versus Curtis Granderson, and I think we saw the answer to that pretty easily. It's really an out. This is what second time through the lineup. One and no count. One and one. Slider one and two. That's it towards second base. Casillo goes to second, and Grandy's out of second. But really, it will stay on first. Runner on first, one away and. First time this game we're getting a highlight and a fall things to highlight. So we had to use this break just to finish off the water. Don't know why that was a highlight, but here's Ray Durbin nonetheless. Strike one on a high fastball. Curveball in the dirt, one and one. That was hit up the middle. Past the pitcher, that'll be runners on first and second now. One away. And that'll be an error on box part. Now here's Berkman. Strike one, bottom left corner. Nothing and one. One and one. Berkman hits that down the left field line. Gave that a good ride. It is gone. Jays take the lead. Three-run shot by Lance Berkman. The Jays now have a two-run lead. That one, it didn't feel the greatest when he got that swing off, but it counts nonetheless. 107th home run on the season. I think that's RBI as he comes across 291. He's looking for his 300th RBI pretty soon. That made it through pretty sizable. Pretty sizable, excuse me. Here's Rios. First pitch. Change up just a bit too far inside and too low. 1-0. That's a mistake, and Rios will get a base hit out of that. Single the left. So runner on first, one away. Here's Braun, one for one with a single. Strike one, high curve. Seamer in the dirt, one and one. One and one. Two and one. Inside. It's going to be a payoff pitch to Ryan Braun. And oh, goodness gracious. Will that get enough? 
Did that get enough? Yes, it did. Holy moly, yep. That was just taking its time to get out of there, but it got out of there nonetheless. I was honestly kind of silent. My apologies for that. 143 home run on the season for Braun. It is now 5-1 Jays. We're still not at batting practice, but this is now a five-run rally. And of course, our two best power, power swingers got two home runs. That's a great shot right there. Here we go. He's level now in the sixth spot. Box probably not believing it. He had us in check through the first two innings. Strike one on the two-seamer. Ball one and one. Two and one. It's that towards up the middle. Pass to Lewitsky. Scott now, one for one with a double. So we got a hunch on this lefty righty matchup. He's close to 50 pitches. He's trying to get his head back into the game after giving up the five runs. Scott files that one back. 0 and 2. Pulls it. That's towards Casillo. At its second. Over to first. Scott with his legs. He managed to get there. It's only one out. Here's Laduca. 0 for 1. Ball one. Strike one. And still, oh, Luduka fouled that back. That was just out of reach of Yachty. That was a mistake. It's gonna remain a one-two count. And they got him towards up the middle. Castillo over to first. That ends the inning. It was just crazy windy, and now it's just like barely anything out there. I don't know what's going on. But now a five-run rally in the third inning for the Jays. We're heading to the top of the fourth. Up by four. They're one for four. We're five for seven. Five, six, seven part of the lineup. Five strikeouts for Olsen so far. That's actually crazy. At that pace, he's going to get, if he throws a complete game, 15 strikeouts. Nothing in two. That's put in play. Berkman, one away. There's more. Strike one. Strike two. Hit off the end of the bat, it's going foul. Got him swinging on an outside fastball, or an inside fastball out of the zone, I should say. There's Yachty, that's six strikeout for Olsen today. Strike one, took half the swing at that one. Nothing a one on the count. That's it over there. Aurelia to first base. That's the final out of the inning. And also, he's having a tremendous performance so far. Gave up the one run, but frankly, it was on my part from even not getting the out on that play. It was Fielder's Choice. Bottom of the fourth. Last batter in our lineup, Curtis Granderson leading off. One for one with a single. Bach is tired. Only one strikeout. Still a mid-six ERA. First swing from Granderson. That's going out there to deep center. Can Jim Edmonds run it down? No, he won't. Another soul. Another home run, and that's a solo shot for the Jays. If we get a grand slam between all our home runs, it'll be a home run cycle. Home run number 71 on the season for Granderson, excuse me. Oh man, you gotta shake the cobwebs off. 6 1, yeah, he crushed that. I mean, is there any doubt? Now I'm wondering, are they gonna keep him in the game? Because it's now batting practice. The Yankees are down by five, they're keeping Rich Aurelia in to face him. They're keeping him to face Rich Aurelia because Rich is supposed to be there. And Rich Aurelia hits that the other way. The right, Bedelli, one away. There's Durham. 0 for 2. Reached on a grounder and an error. Strike one on a curve. And he hits that up the middle. That'll be for a base hit. They're going to take him out now. Lance Berkman is up. They're keeping him in to face Lance Berkman, who is one for two with a three-run home run. How about another one? That one's crushed. Will Edmonds watch it go? Yes, he will. Lance Berkman is looking for a cycle of home runs right now. Needs the solo shot on the grand slam. This is a three-run rally for the Jays. It's now, what, 8-1? Incredible performance. 
Home run number 108 on the season. Berkman just tearing this up right now. This is incredible. Here's Rios. They're going to finally take him out. Here comes in Moeller. From mid-6 ERA. Pretty much the same, but I imagine Bach. Bach home run. Excuse me, ERA went up after the Berkman's home run right there. 1-0. 2-0. Seems he's afraid of pitching the zone to Rios. Gotten there with the curve. Rios remains ahead in the count. 2-1. to one. Called the ball. I think that's the fair call to make. Did not get that much of the strike zone at all. Here's the 3-1 count now. And Rios takes that. It's going to be a payoff pitch to AR-15. One out. No man on. And he pulls out the other way. That is a really high hopper. Boone getting in place. And he's just going to let Rios catch first for some reason, not even a throw. I think a throw could have, maybe the AI already knows if the throw will get him or not. But here's Braun looking for a cycle, single and a home run, a two-run shot. Strike one on the curve. Change up inside, 1-1. One one. Change up inside again, two and one. Three and one. So I think just take one here. Three and two. It's that hard. Second, Casillo. Over to second. Over to first. Will Braun beat it out? No, he won't. That'll end the inning. But hey, got more runs out of that. A three-run rally. Leading 8-1. We're 8 for 11. They're 1 for 4. Bottom of the fifth. Excuse me. Top of the fifth coming up. It's the 8-9-1 part of the lineup. Here's Boone. Strike one. Strike two. There's the 0-2 count now. Got him swinging. That's what, seven now for Olsen? Seven strikeouts. He is earning his. Do he is becoming Dr. K right in front of us. Here's 0 1. Oh, that was a low slider. Did not. Not low enough for a ball. 0 2. That was pitched far inside. Too far inside on that one. 2 and 2. Pull that. Lowell over to first. Two away. There's one pier. Strike one. That one's pitched and that one's going to center. Pierre with a single to center field. Two outs. Runner on first. But they have a real speedster. They're keep an eye on him. Tell you what, only fastballs and try and pick them off every time. Wanna know? Because with his speed, I know he's gonna take off sooner rather than later. Strike one there. Fortunately, the gameplay probably is gonna come down to a bit of a halt here. Got him swinging on that. Tell you what, he doesn't take here. Got him swinging on a strikeout. And that's another, excuse, on a swing and on a changeup, that's another strikeout for Olsen. Eight in the game through five innings. Incredible. Bottom of the fifth, it's the six, seven, eight part of the Jays lineup. Mike Willowa leads off. <laughs> Muller's supposed to be highly motivated, still a mid-six ERA. Lowell hits that first pitch, that's going to left center. Will Pierre run it down? He has legs, and he will. One away. Excellent running play by Pierre. There's Luke Scott, one for two with a double. Takes that change up, 50-50 call, strike one. Way high on the cutter, one and one. Two and one. 
game early, so I'm seeing it 20 something percent. I love it when background processes happen, I can't do anything about it. Right, Scott followed through with that, that was in the strike zone anyway, but it's a 2 2 count now for Luke Scott. Count is even from Muller. He gets a hold of that curveball, that's going way out to left, but Pierre is there. Got it, two away. Here's Leduca, 0 for 2. 380-23-90. Strike one on the four-seamer. One and one. One and two. Change up in the zone. Change up in the dirt, two and two. That's it to center field. Bounces once, so we have two out single for Paulo Duca on board now. He is one for three. Here comes Curtis Granderson. And he is looking for a cycle here, has the single and the double. Single on the home run, excuse me. Looking for the double and the triple. Takes the ball. Want to know, I hit the bottom of my desk with the controller. 2-0. and oh. Hits that towards the middle. Too low, gets a hold of it. Over to first. Battle in the inning. So only one hit, nothing of it for the Jays. We're 8 for 12. Top of the six coming up. Part of the Yankee lineup. Brian Roberts, three spot. 2.92 ERA for Olsen. Eight strikeouts. Take strike one there. That one's hit off the end there. Will it? It goes foul. Let's see what Olsen's got here. And he got a hold of that on an 0-2 count. And is that going to be? It's going to be gone. Designated hitter got his 20th home run on the season. Already well. So that 0-2 count, we got a little gritty looking for the strikeout, and Roberts is able to muscle that for a home run, 410 feet. It's now 8-2, so let's just see where we at in the game. We're in the sixth. Olsen's still looking for the quality start at the very least. Just keep that ERA under three. It's at 2.98 right now. Strike one. That was, weighted, I think, slightly towards the ball, but I'll take the strike call anyway. 0-1. 0-2. Get that, it's one and two then. Okay, buddy, really? Just foul. Okay, I thought I thought that was a home run all the way. I got ahead of myself. I'm sure Jen Edmonds did too. Struck him out. There we go. Here's Tula Whiskey, two, four to three, six, thirty-four. This is the harder lineup, something, let me tell you. I almost saw two two, two solo shots. Blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, anyways. Nothing at one at too low. And he pulls that one. That's going towards Luke Scott. Will he have a chance on it? Out of the bullpen there. And he's going to second. And he'll be in there sliding safely. So that's a one out double for Tulowitzki. How are you tired, Olsen? All right, fastball, ball one. Keep an eye here. He's at 78 pitches. I guess that's what happens to get a lot of strikeouts. Moore pulls that the other way. Nice catch by Berkman. Will we get him? Oh, come on, get him. That would be sick. What a double play. Awesome. Olsen gets the quality start, and that was a tremendous defensive play by Lance Berkman. A solo shot by Roberts makes the Yankees two for seven. Heading to the bottom of the six, Rich Aurelia leads off yet again. It's 0 for 3. Keep an eye on Muller here, 26 pitches. It's still batting practice, but you never know. They could slowly claw back. Strike one on the high fastball. There's the 0 1. 0 2. That one's in the dirt. 1 and 2. Spread that curveball all the way. That's going to right field. 1 and bounce, and that'll be a leadoff single for Rich Aurelia. 1 for 3 now in the game. Here's Durham. One for three with the single. Muller's getting tired out there. Strike one on the changeup. 
Durham hits that towards center field. That's going slightly towards the other side. Caught by Edmonds. We're not running on Edmonds. Am I crazy? Is Berkman. Two for three with two home runs. Back-to-back -back games with multiple home runs for Lance Berkman. Takes a changeup. Ball one. One and oh. Gert ball caught the corner. One and one. Other side. Two and one. The other way, one Pierre. Two outs. There's Rios, two for three with two singles. It smacks that up the middle. That's past the shortstop. Edmonds will be there. We're on first and second now. Two outs. Let's see what we got here. Braun, okay, yep. 290 RBIs on the season. Strike one on the curve. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see, ladies and gentlemen. That's worthy of a bad flip, just because you knew that was gone. And when you play with fire, you're going to get burned. Braun with a three-run shot of his own. And this game has it's just been like an infested wound, especially after that. They got one run back, but we'll score three more. 11-2 lead. Muller leaving with, now I'd say, a high 6 ERA. Here comes in Franklin. It's Mike Lowell, one for three. And he fits that first pitch. That's going to center. Jen Edmonds will run it down. That's the end of the inning. So a three-run shot by Ryan Braun makes us 11 for 15, while the Yankees are 2 for 7. Top of the 7th. Let's see what we got. I'll tell you what. I think maybe next hit he allows, we'll take him out. Strike one. Beautiful. He's had nine strikeouts through six innings. That's incredible. Strike two. Here's the 0-2 now. Now oh, Yachty pulls that one. Lowell charges over to first. One away. Here's Boone. Tell you what, two swinging strikeouts. You got this, Olsen. Yep. Beautiful. One pitch. Second out of the inning. Beautiful. Here's Pidelli. Come on, if you get through this guy. Strike one. Beautiful. That one got way away from him. That's way up high. 1-1. One one. It's not quite gassed yet. That one got away from him again. It's foul back. Come on. He's gassed, but you need one more strike. That one's pulled. It'll stay fair. Lowell. That's the end of the half inning. So I think, yeah, that's it for Olsen's time on the mound. But, hey, seven innings, only two runs allowed. That's amazing. Heading to the bottom of the seventh now. We're at the seventh inning stretch drink all the water so no good luck water I'm afraid but hey do we really need it so we've scored like a decent amount of runs well more than decent in each inning we've scored a five run rally in the third three run rally in the fourth and Braun hit that three run shot in the sixth so I you know it's just uncomfortable it's the last three batters in our lineup we're not going to bat all nine innings we are at home so you know what let's make our opportunities count we have to remember that it's one two Three strikes here out at the old ball game at the Rogers Center, home of your Toronto Blue Jays. Alrighty, here we go. Bottom of the seventh, and it's seven. Seventh man in the lineup, Luke Scott leading off. One for three with a double. Jason Franklin here takes a high curve for strike one. Nothing to one to Scott. And he got a hold of that ball the other way. Pierre is there. That rhyme. One away. Slow Duke out one for three with a single. Hit his last time bat. Takes a splitter, one and oh. Two and oh on the curve. Fastball, two and one. That was not quite a 50 50. Here is the 2 2. Okay, well, couple questionable calls. Leduca goes down looking, but here's Granderson. So I guess it's either not windy or the dome has closed. And Grandy smacks that over to left. Pierre runs back, catches it again. Pierre and Edmonds really carry in their defensive prowess, I have to say. They're up and three down in the seventh for the Jays, top of the eighth. Pierre leading off. So we know he's a lefty. Let's bring in a lefty. Let's bring in Tony Valoni. 
The one you's not feeling too good, but hey, whatever. Even if we just keep you in face Pierre, at least it's like an easy out, right? Stop. First pitch he sees. Lowell over to first. It's a deep throw. One away. There's Castillo. Strike one. Low pitch. Strike two. Too low, it's the one two. Grind the Durham over to first, two away. There's Roberts, tell you what, why not? Ball one. That's hit over there, Rios. So that's the first given hit, first hit given up by Tony Valoni here. But hey, here's Jim Edmonds, so that's a fair trade off. Strike one. Ball one. He takes off. Just making sure the last button I press is first base. Aurelia gets the at it first. Perfect. Already one hit for the Yankees. Nothing of it. Bottom of the eighth. Last time we'll be batting. It's the top three batters in our lineup. Rich Aurelia leads off one for four. He is one for four, but if I just have the feeling to maybe put in Frank Thomas, I will. First pitch swung on by Aurelia. Will it fall for a base hit? Yes, it will. Two for five. Runner on first and on away. Sturum one for four. Smacks that the other way. Pierre will not be able to get there. That's into the gap. One bounce quickly off the wall. Runners on third and second. None away. It's Berkman. Strike one. Berkman goes to center on that. Will it be out of there? It's going, it's going. Another three-run shot for Lance Berkman. This guy has been on a tear his past two games. Incredible. Truly incredible. Wow. 14-2. That's what, six RBIs for him on the game? That's crazy. He's literally tripled the entire Yankees lineup in RBIs. On his own. Excuse me, that's what Berkman does. They're going to take Franklin out of the game. Here comes B.J. Ryan, the former Blue Jay. Look at those beady eyes. AR-15 takes ball one on two-seamer. That is one heck of a slider. Barely even, like, seems barely even moved. Rios hits that the other way. Not ready. We'll take it. Jim Edmonds didn't get that one, didn't get his, but Reels will get his. One foot short of the funny number, home run 58 on the season. That seems like one heck of a pitch and change they made. 15-2, your Toronto Blue Jays. Here's Braun, who's also looking for a cycle. Strike one on the slider. Swung through that fastball, 0-2. Braun hits that, and that will be a base hit. It'll be a single. It just got really dark in my room. I apologize for that. Nothing I can really do to control the sun. Don't feel like turning on the light. Here's Lowell, one for four with a single. Hits that towards first base. Moore didn't step on the bag, but they get the first runner. So it'll remain runner on first with one out. Luke Scott, tell you what. Sorry, Scott. I, I just have a hunch at this at bat. This is the perfect time to do this. Here we go, Thomas. 18 homers, 41 RBIs. Strike one on the two-seamer. Strike two on the two-seamer. Strike one on a two-seamer. Strike two. Got that from down low. What a catch by the first baseman Moore. And the runner will get back there safely, at least. But here's Loduca. Takes ball one. One and oh. Weak pitch, Loduca hits that to deep left. Did he get enough of it? There we go. Another home run for the Blue Jays. Paul Loduca with a two-run shot. 24th on the season. And now he should only be eight or eyes away from the century mark. I believe he was at 90. 17-2 Toronto Blue Jays. We're just piling it on here. And here's Curtis Granderson because, you know, we add insult to injury around here up in Canada. 
Jim Edmonds will not be able to run that one down. I'll tell you, Granderson, we're going to risk it. Absolute bullet from him, but Granderson's there with the slide. Two out double for Grandy. Here's Rich Aurelia now. Takes ball one, one and oh. BJ Ryan, a low three RA, but granted he is a closer. Needs one more out. Game really slowed down for that two seamer. Took it, two and oh. Three and oh. Tell you what, just in case. Just in case. Slider for strike one. And a weak pitch. Aurelia just missed it. It's going to be a payoff pitch. BJ Ryan's already tired. And he walks him. That's going to bring up Ray Durham now. They're going to take Ryan out, I assume. They're putting in Serrano. Let's see what he's got. First pitch, Durham swings on it. They tag out Grandy, and that'll be the end of the hitting for the Jays tonight. But a six-run rally in the eighth inning when it really didn't matter. That's what we like to see. Top of the ninth. Might as well keep Valoni in there until he kind of can't. We will have to replace... What's his name? Thomas. A left... Yep, Marlon Anderson. And why not? Because we are Jose Molina again. Just because he is the better defender to Paulo Duca, might as well. Okay, um... Well, thank you for your time so far, Tony Valoni, but... That solo shot by Tulo makes me think it might be time to take you out. 462 feet. He crushed that thing. I'm trying to think of a hawk to uh, spit on that thing joke, but I should have never brought that. <laughs> I, I don't think that's the first time I've said that. Here's more. Oh, hey, a lefty here. All right, let's see what he's got. Strike one. Strike two. That one's hit down the line. Foul. Not quite the dirt, but that was quite low out of the zone. I think Filoni's tired, but hey, who can blame him? Nice catch. Nice little play there to throw it to Durham. There's Yachty, who is 0 for 3. Strike one. Ball one. Strike two. Pulls that. That'll go for base hit. Yachty gets his first of the game. I think it's time we take Filoni out. Who's up next? Boone, yep, already. Lindstrom, you're coming into the game. Feeling regular as always. Let's just see. A double play would be perfect. Strike one. That's going to deep center. Grandy. What a catch. Back-to-back -back games with diving catches from Curtis Granderson. And what a... Well, that's, hey, you know what, Jim Edmonds? I don't see him doing that defensive play. Here's Pedelli now. That first ball, it's going foul. Just popped up. Aurelia back. That's the end of the inning. Alrighty, so we win that game 17-3. Just back, you know, just start hitting ways. Berkman absolutely killed this game. I can't, I really can't believe how well he did, all things considered. It's the top of the second. That was the Yankees, and that was my mistake there. Should have just gotten the out. But hey, maybe buy Butterfly Fleck thing and all. Do we have the game we have without that? That was Berkman's first three-run home run. That made a 3-1 Blue Jays. Once again, another game to look at it. You can't believe the Yankees ever had a lead. Bottom of the third right there. That was an absolute moonshot. Don't remember if that was for Berkman or Braun. Is he top of the ninth? Okay, that was the final out. I was like, I don't remember. I was like, I don't remember them scoring there. Yeah, they did, did get the one run back off the solo shot. So player of the game is Lance Berkman. I mean, of course. Forget, like, the uh, significance of, like, oh, he did it was go ahead. He absolutely crushed the ball. Like, that's unbelievable. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. So, Olsen, his 20th win on the season. That's what we like to see. Bach, 6 and 11. And after that performance, yeah, he deserved that. Berkman, 107, 108, 109. A hat trick for Berkman. Rios hit 58. Braun had 2, 143, 144. Luduka with 24. Granderson with 71. Then the Yankees had 2. Roberts with his 20th. Too low with his 7th. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 home runs for the Jays. 
Alrighty, yep. Everybody in certain lineup got multiple, at least one hit. A lot of guys got multiple. Double, so home runs. Three for Berkman. Eight RBIs for Lance Berkman. Two for Luduka, five for Braun. Look at that. Eight and five. Between two guys, that's 13 RBIs. That's how many runs we give up over what? Like five or six games? Maybe seven against our opponents? Incredible. Olsen, seven innings. Gets the win. 2.94 year rate. Keep it under three like we like it. Filoni with one and a third. Gave up the one run. It's whatever. Lindstrom, two thirds. Mid six, mid one ERA. Olsen has 114 pitches. It took our pitching staff today. Alrighty, let's move along. 639 points, not bad. Let's see. Rays walked off the Angels. Mets got absolutely blasted. Tigers walked off. Rangers walked off the Tigers in back to back games, I believe. At least that we played. Anything else? Uh, no, that looks like it already. Well, let's move it along here. That's it for the first game of this series against the New York Yankees. We have two more games against them, then we host Boston. So, thank you so much for watching. I just have to look at this. 10 and 0. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for the second game against the New York Yankees.